hope you all guys know what is a centrifugal pump and how the impeller works. This is a simple centrifugal pump diagram. You know that the centrifugal pump takes suction through the eye of the impeller and it discharges through the volute casing outside. And the impeller veins are backward curved veins. That's it. We will deal about the importance of each and every construction of impeller in the next future videos. Now, let's move on to the topic. These are various types of impellers as I said earlier. Like these are, this is the open type impeller. This is the diagram and this is the actual one. If you want to have a look at the ship, you will find this one. And this is semi-open and double suction impeller. This is semi-open type and you have a double suction impeller where the suction is from two sides of the impeller. And this is shrouded and this is semi-open. This is what it's shown over here. Now, let's move on to the simple experiment where you can literally see and understand how an impeller works. Take a straw which you used to drink uh, juices or some coke in your leisure time, take a straw, cut exactly into three pieces, halves, and put a skewer at the center. Now, tie the ends with a tape and immerse, it, immerse the combined ends into the liquid. Start rotating the skewer. Water will rise up through this and it will start pumping up. How this experiment is similar to a centrifugal pump impeller? You know that the centrifugal pump impeller takes suction at, from the eye of the impeller, that is through its center. This is the center of the impeller where the water gets inside the straw and the level of water inside the straw depends on how much you immerse the straw or immerse the impeller. And when you start to rotate, the water particles inside the straw are subjected to a centrifugal force which means they will also start to rotate and this force tries to act around the circumference which means they try to escape somewhere but since the water particles are constrained inside the straw they can rise only upwards and the speed of rotation is if it is reaching so high the water rises sufficient enough that it is getting discharged both the sides. And I have performed an experiment based on this and these are the pictures taken when the experiment is done. Maybe the picture is not clear because I don't have a slow motion camera. But the picture shows over here is these are the straw and this is the file stick which I attached to the center. And my impeller model had three straws. That is it had six openings for water to come out. And I used an ice cream cup to fill water and then rotate it with my hands. Here you can see the water particles coming out of the impeller. Hope this is clear enough. Here are the water particles coming out. It is taking suction through the straw which is similar to eye of the impeller and discharging it outside. So this is a Impeller, model for impeller. Here we have various straws designed in the form of impeller. So let us assume this to be the suction of the impeller, that is the mouth of the impeller, and these are the sides. Now let's see how this impeller works. I'm just immersing it. Now the mouth of the impeller is full of water, which means it's equivalent to priming of a centrifugal pump. I'm going to rotate it now. So it started to discharge. Wow, it's pumping great. Now the centrifugal pump impeller is applying. Let's see how the discharge quantity varies with reduction in the quantity of liquid.
let's say the quantity of liquid inside a cargo tank reduces, the discharge rate will also go. Let's see what happens here. Now the water level as it pumps keeps on going down. Now the discharge reduces and the pump stops taking suction. Good. The concept of centrifugal pump impeller is clear.